Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Pacific Drive, shall we? So, I don't know if the game just didn't explain it, or if it did and I missed it, but a viewer pointed out, you know, after I had my little raid salt fest about losing everything, you can actually go back and get your stuff like I wanted. There's a tombstone marker there, and I think my car is actually still here, so probably like in a roguelike, if I die again, then I might not be able to get this body back, but or this car back. But if I go back, maybe I could get all my stuff. And I will tell you what I'm going to try. Because that would be a, an amazing outcome. So I'm going to set this as my goal. I'm going to probably just go as fast as I can through this zone to get here to see if I can actually find my car and get it and what will happen. Now... That being said, I am missing a rear bumper. I didn't see that. Here we go. A little food, I guess. Repair putty. Oh my goodness. That was the kindest thing I've ever seen the, the uh, friendly dumpster give me. I, that brings a tear to the eye. It's so good. All right, I need to make a bumper. Oh, we got a new fax machine message here. The roads will take you home, Henry. The roads will take you home. Listen to me. You know this place mixes everything up. You see how it doesn't mix up the roads? That's the key. Forget about where the buildings, trees, and the landmarks are. Stick to the roads. So they're explaining why the roads never change, but each location has that roguelike procedural shake up to it. That makes sense. Okay. I'm going to... See if I can make a better bumper. I can. I gotta refine the stuff. But now here it goes. I have a steel bumper, and I'm gonna put that on there. And to be honest, I my front bumper is not steel. It's crude. I'm gonna take this baby off. Get out of here. And we're gonna just go ahead and go in here and just, you know... Hasta la vista. Make another one. And now my car is for the first time fully steel. So this baby is steel. Now, I want more off-road tires, of course, but I don't have the stuff to craft that. So, how am I doing? I, you know, my car is not completely repaired, um, but I can use the repair putty, and um, this tire back here is not great. Alright, so I'm going to go open this up, and in my box here, I'm going to just go ahead and throw this repair putty. So now we have two repair putties, which you'll love to see. And... Uh, I'm going to rearrange some stuff here. In my awesome new backpack. Um, items insecure. Risk of loss. What items? Oh. Oh, the backpack. Um, I see. So you can't put this over here. Because that side pouch is... Oh, oh, this item. Whoops. Okay. There you go. Just had I had an extra thing there. Okay, uh, let me just kind of put my stuff in there. There we go. Now they're saying I should take some road flares. I'm not going to take this many. Can I split the stack easily? Hmm. Not that I see.
Okay, anyway. Um, that's fine. I'll put them in here. Just to... Make sure that I have enough to craft the flashlight if I need to. And now we're all set. I haven't really done much decorating, but I'll do that if I can get back safely. So we are topped off with everything, as far as I know. Oh, you know what? I should just go ahead and craft a new flashlight. My current flashlight's about to die. Relightable flare, give me one. And then... Impact hammer. Alright. Now I'm going to go to my backpack and I'm going to uh, just equip this and we're going to throw it in the machine. And then I'm going to scrap this too. And I should have a spare impact hammer. Oh, I don't know if I crafted it. Let me see what happened with that, actually. Did I make a impact hammer and it fell? Anyway. Oh, I had to craft gears. Okay. Fair enough. Alright, there we go. Much better. Now I'm going to get my motor running. And head out on the highway. Alright, so this is where we're going to go. We have to go to E7 first. Like I said, my plan um, is to go right down here, which is to the next area. What's this blue thing, though? I don't think I've ever seen that before. Well, I kind of want to check this out. I don't know what it is. See this red line? I think that means a buzzsaw guy, right? There he goes. That house looks like it's irradiated to infinity and beyond. I keep saying I'm never going to stop, and then I feel like stopping. Because there's a lot of good stuff here, potentially. All right, so I need to um, go to my backpack, and I can actually throw this um, on a quick slot. I can put it on um, three, for example. I can even put this on a quick slot if I need to for an emergency death situation. Um, anyway. Love it. Okay. Oh boy. Popped up hair. Shock absorber shifter. What's that? Oh. Oh, okay. I don't know. It's like a new paint job or something? Oh, 
I can't say what that is, but anyway. I'm going to go into this house. Check it out. Oh, it's like a part. Oh, I see. It's a customized... It's for my gear shifter. Okay. It has a funny head. Now, I don't know why... Um... Oh. Did that guy take my pry bar and transform it into something else? Or maybe my pry bar just broke. Well, we'll have to make another one. Okay, sure. Alright, so I'm going to put in this food and this thing. And then I need to craft a new pry bar. Okay. We're going in. Off-roading it, not always the best plan. Does a little damage. But that's alright. I want to get close to this just in case that's necessary all right i'm gonna stop now i hear something happening that i don't want to hear was that just me going outside all right so there's this crazy tower where am i on the map what is this why would you have this? Is there a door? I mean, I didn't even see a door into this thing. You must need some kind of grappling hook or something to get up there. I don't know. Here's a radio tower, though. Darn, I need this electric lock guy. I don't think I can do that. There's a little bit of stuff, but... What is this, what I'm finding on the map? I put my, um, I'm actually not as close to it as I thought. So I'm going to bail out and I'm going to go back to my car. Nice. Sure, we'll take a free vacuum. Yeah, I was, like, trying to walk there on foot. I am not very close to it. There's no real road to get there. Let's go. I don't know what's happening to the trees. It sounds like a Bigfoot-type incident. So my, uh steel bumper is getting the full work up here. I 
I'm going to be very cautious. This is probably not a good idea to go explore something when you're trying to get your body back. Like, you should save something like this, I imagine. But I'm not... I'm just being curious. And, um, not safe. Simultaneously. Alright, there's a buzz saw. Let's just avoid that. Here it is. Okay. What could this be? What do we got here? Oh, here it is. It's hiding back here. I mean, reality is changing a little bit. And the radiation has gone up. But what's this thing? Mysterious auto reel recording. Alright. Faraday future. Right. Okay. Well. So it seems like uh, I'm getting hurt being out here. The year is 1955. Dr. Ophelia Turner is standing next to President Koch, the top of her head barely clearing his shoulder. She stands stiff-backed, her hazel eyes affixed on the glass and steel chamber in front of her. She does not appear to breathe until a ball of light appears out of thin air. The sight is tremendous. A lightning bolt frozen mid-strike, and the reaction immediate. The gathering audience roars with excitement and spontaneous applause. On Dr. Turner, only a tightening of her lips indicates that she hears the audience at all. Dr. Turner and President Koch pose for a picture. She does not smile even then. That picture is the image splashed across newspapers and science journals for the next decade. The mother of limb technology, they called her. The angel of a new age. The newspapers at that time laid the titles on thick while peddling the impending utopia. Then she recedes into the bowels of a government research facility. She's never seen again in public. There are scant appearances here and there in blinking miss of promotional videos and blatant propaganda fodder. And then she and the promise of limb technology disappear. Huh. Yeah, this is a little... I mean, I really went all out to get that. And it ended up putting me... Off the road. Significantly. Scary. Oh dear. Oh, treasure box. Should I get this? Well, of course not. Or, you mean, of course I should. Alright. Storm's right on top of us. I'm going to try to get back to the road. Okay. Uh-oh. Let me look at the map. Where am I? Well, 
I mean, sort of. I don't know if I can take a route, though, that... Can I go this way? There's red lights. Yeah, that usually means you can't go that way. Okay. Well, let's just do the stupidest thing we've ever done and see if I can just drive up a hill. I don't think so. Okay. I should probably just wait it out. Or try to get... Uh-oh. That was bad. Okay, let's not do this anymore. Uh-oh. Alright. Okay. Okay. I need to get over there, but I need to figure out a way that... Yeah, I'm going to take a right up here. Okay, the storm is gone. I took, you know, some damage, but I'm not, like, dead. I, I should be okay here. And we are going to take a right here. Where am I at in the map? Yeah, this is right. Now I'm going to have to, like, you know, hit some massive trees, I think. Which I don't like doing, but, uh... I don't see a, a good way to use the road to get to this location. Almost there. Alright. Took a, took a little damage on the old hood there. Uh, we are pointing in the right direction. I'm going to need to use some repair putty on my hood, but that's fine. Okay, I'm going to stop. I'm going to do this because uh, this house could be interesting to search. We're looking for chemicals. There's some. Okay. Actually, a lot of stuff in this little house. put everything away, get my repair putty out. It's actually not as hurt as you would think. Oh, 
Oh dear. Oh, actually not, oh dear. I mean, I could go get that. No, 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 I have a job. I have a job, I can't do it. Let's go. We're going here. Can we get back our body? Is it possible? All right, so let me look at the map right away. Oh my god, the whole thing's in a storm, of course. Um, extreme conditions. Well, that's a, that's about right. But we can't turn back now. Alright, so we need to go uh, on the road and we need to take the first left that we find. I am stopping for nothing. Through the town. Yeah, coming up. Okay. Looks like a tornado. Oh god, I can barely drive. Okay. The wind is insane. I almost lost control and flew into that gas station, which would have been not ideal. I gotta get around these, um, tourists. Let me get back onto the road for some stability. This is the right way. Yes, keep going straight. I don't know what this blue area is, but it's unfortunate. Okay, I got a car thrown up in the air a little bit there. I mean, a little damage, headlight damage. Boulder. All right. I am now through. And around here should be where my car... Actually, where I died. Not where my car died, where I personally died. So let's see if we can find, like, our burial site, or whatever it is. What would it look like? Uh, what is this? Oh, give me a break. I 
I came all the way here, and then that's happening. Okay. Um, now, that's part of what killed me before with this area. Let's see. Where where would it be? Is this, is this my car right here? This looks like me. It is me. It's my side storage with everything inside. All of my pearls. Oh my god. Oh my goodness. We can do this. Grave robber. Discover your remnant ghost. We got an achievement even from doing it. Okay. That is phenomenal. Alright, I don't know if I can actually take everything. So what I'm going to do right away is um, I'm going to just drop this busted scrapper. And then I'm going to take this. And then I'm going to... Um, anything that I have that's like just absolutely we don't need it that takes up too much room, we're going to ditch. Yeah, this backup vacuum cleaner, I'm going to take it. And then I'm going to get rid of my busted one. Okay, wonderful. And then we're going to go get the rest of this car. Where is that thing? Uh-oh. Wait, wait, wait. Here it is. There's a spare summer tire, but we're going to take as much as we can. And then we want this off-the-job fax machine thing. And, I mean... Uh-oh, what's that? This, okay. I'm gonna get out of here. I don't know what's happening, I don't like it. I'm gonna try to leave straight ahead. I don't know if I can, actually. Oh, wait, I could just go. I can just go back. No, I'd have to abandon the trip. Uh, do I have to try to pick something up to get out of here, or... What happens if I abandon the trip? I don't know if, like, I lose something if I do this. All right. Okay. So what I'm going to do is then quickly... I'm going to go back to the tunnel. It was a little safer over there. I mean, it says I can't leave there, but I'm going to try it. Like, I don't know if that... If I just get to the edge, can I just be like, get me out? I see that there's this, like, train stosh station, you know, crossing signal, uh, blocking the way, which is ultra convenient and dumb, but I want to see if I can get out of here. I'll repair the whole front of my car, I don't care. Just let's go home. No, yeah, this is what I think... It just won't let you. Okay, well, that's fine. Then well, here's what we're going to do. We're going to turn off. We're going to pause. We're going to get out. And I'm going to go get my repair putty. I'm going to fix up my car. And we're going to just buckle in for a, just what can only be described as a terrible journey. Okay. And I'll take repair putty. And I'll even take my battery jumper. I don't know if that will charge me. Or you know, sometimes it's like you can only use it if your battery is about to go. All right. Oh, that's light repair kit. No, wait. Why am I not... Why is it not working? Uh-oh. I think maybe what has happened is I've got some kind of... trait that is not letting me repair? Or No, that wasn't it. There it goes. I don't know what was going on with it.
I need all my lights working. Anything that's like 50% has to get fixed. If it's better than that, which it appears to be, I can go for it. Now, I don't think I can take off my side storage. I think I need the the part extractor or whatever to do that. But... Okay. Let's go. Oh, the battery. There it goes. All right, let's go. Let's get out of here. Ah! Alright. The wind blew me into that. This is going to be a nightmare. I'm going to get some repair putty. Whole car is basically dead. Alright, so what we got to do is this, and I got to go... Um... Oh, I don't have enough to make a gate. I wonder if I can go where the arrow is and just leave. I don't think I can. I can't open a gate yet either. I don't have enough stuff. getting it. Uh-oh. I almost blew myself up right there. The door is gone. That's not good. Well, I still can't make a gate? 
I need more. I can't believe it, but the location is actually outside of the storm. I can't drive, uh, because of the wind. Honestly, it lifted me up and I don't mind. Stop, stop. Oh god. Okay. Now I mind. Okay. Go, go, go. Good lord. All right, so we're getting hurt because the vehicle protection is compromised, but I think we're out of the storm. And, of course, there is this in the way. Um, all right, so we got to drive around this. Oh, we got to refill the car. We're about to run out of gas. Oh, it's not horrible. Okay, we're almost back on the road. Oh, there's a treasure chest. Okay, so I'm actually going to get myself right here. And I'm going to turn off the car and just go out here. I'm going to go into my backpack. And I need to eat. One. Two. Alright. And... I need to, uh, craft... Can I make a door? And we need to make repair putty. Alright, so what do we got up here that's, like, about to just die? This... doing my best. Alright. I hate to make another repair putty. Oh, I can't anyway. Out of chemicals. I was w wondering about that. Okay. Oh, wait. I need to fuel the car. What a disaster. Alright. So, in this case, let's look at the map. Where are we? We are here, and we need to go all the way down there. Just follow the road, and we should be okay. There's so many of these anomalies, whatever, like, electrical guy is. It's a disaster. Oh, you followed me up here. Well, I would have just driven through you on the road if I knew you would have still hit me up here. Um, okay. And then here's the road again. We need to go which way? Is this the right way? No, wrong way. Oh, God. Go back. Oh my god, guardrail. <sighs> so
so aggravating. Okay. Um, this is it. And then we need to take a right turn at the fork. We're going to try to stick to the old road. I mean, this mission was just like, just get your body back. And it's uh, a travesty. If I can avoid this zone for some time, I will. I don't have enough uh, of the the anchor. Wonderful, wonderful timing. Thank you. I don't have enough of the anchor to even um, make a gate yet. Nor do I know where the gates will be. Okay, there's one of these electric things all over the place by it. That's great. Alright, open up. Let's try not to die. Oh, you're just coming at me, huh? Well, then get out of here. Take it. God, the electricity... What? Duh. What a disaster. No. Run. Get in the car. Get in the car. Alright, where do we need to go? Um. This one. Turn around. Where is it? Go. Oh, there's one of these jerks on my car. No, in your inventory, use your first aid kit now. God, that only took three hours to use. You. Whatever. Get me in. Start the car. Start and go. We stay straight. I see it. I'm going off. Go, go, go. Okay, okay. Get around. Come on. Get around. Where is it? Can you drive yet? Is this thing done? Where am I? Um, I'm facing it. Okay. I don't have a choice. No, why are you spinning? Just get in there. Go. Go. Oh my goodness. That was insane. That was insane. That was like the most annoying zone that I've ever seen. But we got 3.7 stable and we got our body back, which is... Interesting thing about those anchor plugs. They use limb technology to stake down pockets of stability in an area. Basically, they delay how quickly you're turned into Swiss cheese out there. Oh my goodness. I can't even imagine how many traits our car has. We are a smoldering ruin, but we made it, everyone. 
Uh, yeah, here, use this. Can that fix it? No. Uh, we have some problems. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, I'll tell you what. We're going to get into this next time because we survived. It may not have been our best, you know, victory, but it was a victory. And it was hair-raising, but I'm glad that we made it. And when it wasn't maddeningly frustrating, actually fun, and mostly fun. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. I'll check you in the next one. Take care.